hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a payment method to your bybit account you will learn how to add your bank details your bank account to your bybit account so that you can be able to receive money whenever you sell a token or a crypto so guys adding your bank account or your bank details or a payment method on your bybit account is very important especially if you want to do p2p on bybit so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it and it's very easy just make sure you hang on to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take now is to tap on your bybit app to open it so let me tap on my bybit app real quick so guys once your bybit app opens up and you've logged into your bybit account the next step you have to take is to make sure you tap on home you can see that home is selected then after that make sure you tap on exchange you can see exchange there at the top the arrow is pointing at it make sure you tap on it you can see it's already selected so guys now after that what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see more you can see the more icon there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step now is to make sure you tap on where you can see recommended you can see recommended is selected then what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see p2p trading you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it you can see it there so let me tap on it right away but guys if i go ahead now to tap on p2p trading let me show you guys something you can see that this p2p trading feature is under the buy crypto section you can see there on the left hand side being encycled by crypto so you can tap on this buy crypto at the top you can see where the arrow is pointing the arrow is pointing at buy crypto so you can tap on it as well let me tap on it and then now you see p2p trading at the top you can see there you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so it's either you tap on recommended or you tap on buy crypto you're also going to find p2p trading so guys that's what i want to tell you guys so let me tap on p2p trading right away So guys, now under this P2P trading, what you have to do next now is to tap on where you can see that three dots, that three horizontal dots at the top right corner, you can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now after that, what you have to do now is to tap on the first option, which is written user center. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. Let me tap on it. So guys, now under here, what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see payment method. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it. So guys, now under this payment method, make sure you tap on P2P trading. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. Then after that, what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see add now. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. You can see what's written there. They said, oops, you have not added a payment method. You have not added any payment method yet. So guys, now to add, what you have to do is to tap on add now. So let me do that right away. So guys, now this is where you're going to add your payment method. This is where you're going to add your bank details, your bank account. So guys, now first of all, let's go over to the payment method. You can see what's written there. You can see that bank transfer is chosen. Make sure bank transfer is chosen for you. But let me tap on this drop down icon to show you guys other options. Let me tap on it right away. So guys, now you can see the recommended options that we have right here. You can see there are so many of them. You can see. But the one that is actually recommended for you and I recommend for you is bank transfer. You can see there the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it to select it. Though it was the one there already. So guys, now let's go back to the next one which is your name. So guys, now you can see my name on my Bybit account. That's my name on my Bybit account. What you have to take note is that make sure that your name on your Bybit account is also the name on your bank account. So guys, make sure of that. You can see what's written there. You can see that notice written there. They say if it is different from your real name please contact customer support to have it amended so guys if you want to amend that you can tap on submit form they will be able to amend your name they will be able to change your name on bybit so guys now you can see this is my name on bybit and it's exactly what i have in my bank account so guys now let's go back to the next one you can see what's written there bank account number so guys now this is where you need to enter your account number your bank account number so guys now let's go back to the next one you can see the bank branch so guys what you have to do now is to impute the name of your bank branch then the last one is bank name so what you have to do is to impute the name of your bank example access bank uba bank whichever bank you're banking with just put it right there so guys now let me go ahead now to impute all my details like my bank account number my bank branch and my bank name let me do that real quick so guys now you can see i've imputed my bank account number and also i've imputed the bank branch the bank branch usually takes the name of the street where it is located so just know that then over to the last one i've also imputed my bank name so guys now after you're done with this what you have to do now is to tap on confirm so guys let me tap on confirm right away so guys now you can see it's loading so guys now you can see the next step you can see what's written there 
security verification you can see send verification code to phone mobile so guys now you can see they've sent me a verification code to my email so what i'll do now is to go over to my inbox to get the verification code then i'll then come here to paste it so guys let me go and get it right away so guys let me go ahead now to impute the code 834017 then let me tap on confirm So guys, now you can see the verification is done. That was to confirm if I'm actually the owner of that Bybit account. So guys, now you can see my bank account. My bank details has been added. You can see, you can see there the arrow is pointing at it. You can see what's written there. Bank transfer. You can see my name. You can see my account number. You can see the branch. I can also see the bank name. So guys, now I've been able now to show you guys how you can add a payment method to your Bybit account so that you can be able to receive your funds and money when you're doing P2P on Bybit. So guys, I've come to the end of this video and I believe this was helpful to you. If it was, please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment see you in the next upload bye peace